protesters have gathered in the Sudanese city of Omdurman to call for an end to the nearly 30-year rule of President Omar al-Bashir. The BBC's Mohammed Osman says security forces have used tear gas against some of the 300 assault demonstrators there. Sudan has already been rocked by two weeks of sometimes deadly street demonstrations prompted by a rise in the cost of living. The anti-government protests first erupted in mid-December over inflation. The price of bread had tripled in some places and fuel costs have also risen. The protests in Omdurman, close to the capital Khartoum, began after Friday prayers. People were hard chanting, freedom, peace, and justice. The revolution is the people's choice. Many of those taking part came straight from the Ansari Adadarhaman Mosque, which is linked to the opposition of the party. Demonstrations began on 19 December, after the government announced price rises for fuel on the bread. The protests have escalated in top broader calls for an end to the rule of President Bashir, who came to power after a coup in 1989. Activists accuse him of mismanaging the economy. Over the past year, the cost of some goods has more than doubled, while the Sudanese pound has plunged in value. Three quarters of Sudan's oil wealth has been lost after the country, as Southern half voted to secede in 2011, leading to the formation of South Sudan. Its economy has also been strained by over 20 years of United States sanctions, which were lifted in October 2017. The United States had introduced economic sanctions after accusing Sudan of sponsoring terrorist groups. Mr. Bashir's regime has been accused of widespread human rights abuses in 2009 and 2010. The International Criminal Court ICC charged him with several counts of genocide, what are crimes and crimes against humanity, and a warrant was issued for his arrest. A popular tourist attraction has become the latest Chinese company to show solidarity with Hu Awa's chief finance officer, Man Wanzhou, who was arrested in Canada on 1 December. Shannon Mountain Scenic Park in eastern Hainan province said, it would make the $9.40 65 yuan ticket fee for anyone carrying a Huawei phone. Miss Man, who was given bail in Canada, faces extradition to the United States on charges of breaking Iran sanctions. Her case has up tensions with China. Use Huawei phones, shoot grand photos on the mountain. A notice on the Shannon Park's social media account said, we wish friends around the world, whose part who are way success and bliss. The offer would last until 29 December. The South China Morning Post reported that it was met with some criticism among China's social media users, who claimed it was discriminatory. Who are way full owners are being offered other enticements to They can get a 20% discount at a border in Beijing. Seen in Beijing. Bring a Huawei phone and get 20% off. Similar to this story, we covered yesterday HTTPS, T, CoQXL19YPQLPIC, Twitter, ComSoccerLoff, end of Twitter post by AtluOceanG. At least one firm has threatened to penalize anyone buying Apple products. A few days ago, Manpada Shenzhen, based the lead and display manufacturer offered, Subsidies to any employees buying Huawei phones. It also pledged to fine anyone who bought an Apple iPhone. United States prosecutors, a large misman, 46, used the Huawei subsidiary called Skycom to evade sanctions on year on between 2009 and 2014. They also alleged she publicly misrepresented Skycom as being a separate company from Huawei, and that she deceived banks about the true relationship between the two companies. Miss Man, 
who is the daughter of who a was founder, has denied any wrongdoing and said she will contest the allegations. Life of who a was high flying errors. The United States has been investigating the Chinese telecoms giant, the world's second largest smartphone maker, since 2016, believing that it used Spycom to bring United States manufacturing equipment and millions of dollars in transactions to Iran in violation of sanctions. Miss Man's detention comes amid an increasingly acrimonious trade dispute between Washington and Beijing. China is angry at her detention, saying she has not violated any laws. Beijing has threatened severe consequences unless Canada releases the executive since her arrest. Two Canadians, a former diplomat and a businessman, have been detained in China on suspicion of harming national security. United States President Donald Trump said last week that he might intervene in the United States Justice Department's case against Ms. Man if it would serve national security interests or help achieve a trade deal with China. If I think it's good for what will be certainly the largest trade deal ever made which is a very important thing, what's good for national security? I would certainly intervene if I thought it was necessary, he told Reuters news agency. Canada reacted by urging Mr. Trump not to politicize the situation. Our extradition partners should not seek to politicize the extradition process. Are you set for any other than the pursuit of justice? Foreign Minister Christy of Freeland said, two Scandinavian women tourists have been found dead in Morocco with cuts to their necks, the country's interior ministry said. Both bodies were found near the town of Imleo in the High Atlas mountain range, near the foot of North Africa's highest peak, Mount Tepco. The women, from Denmark and Norway respectively, have not yet been named. A police investigation has been launched into their deaths, the Interior Ministry statement said. A popular tourist attraction has become the latest Chinese company to show solidarity with Hu Awa's chief finance officer, Man Wanzhou, who was arrested in Canada on 1 December. Shannon Mountain Scenic Park in eastern Hainan province said it would waive the $9.40 won ticket fee for anyone carrying a Hu Awa phone. Miss Man, who was given bail in Canada, faces extradition to the United States on charges of breaking Iran sanctions. Her case has up tensions with China. Use Huawei phones, shoot grand photos on the mountain, a notice on the Shannon Park's social media account said, We wish friends around the world, who support Huawei success and bliss. The offer would last until 29 December, the South China Morning Post reported. But it was met with some criticism among China's social media users, who claimed it was discriminatory. Who are way full owners are being offered other enticements to they can get a 20% discount at a border in Beijing. Seen in Beijing, bring a who are way phone and get 20% off. Similar to this story we covered yesterday HTTPS T. QXL19YPQLPIC Twitter Comsogerlof End of Twitter post by Atlu Ocean G. At least one firm has threatened to penalize anyone buying Apple products. A few days ago, Manpad Shenzhen, based lead and display manufacturer offered subsidies to any employees buying Huawei phones. It also pledged to fine anyone who bought an Apple iPhone. United States prosecutors, a large Ms. Man, 46, used the Huawei subsidiary called Skycom to evade sanctions on year on between 2009 and 2014. They also alleged she publicly misrepresented Skycom as being a separate company from Huawei, and that she deceived banks about the true relationship between the two companies. Ms. Man, who is the daughter of Huawei's founder, 
has denied any wrongdoing and said she will contest the allegations. Life of who otherwise high flying errors. The United States has been investigating the Chinese telecoms giant, the world's second largest smartphone maker, since 2016.